So what's the difference between a native and an indigenous plant? We see a native plant grows anywhere in Australia, whereas an indigenous plant is local to that area. In other words, it's those plants that you see growing in the bushland near where you live. So they've adapted to the local growing conditions. Like this beautiful clustered everlasting from the Warrandyte region. Once established, they thrive on local rainfall and in the local soil. So they're a beautiful water-wise choice for the garden. You can use indigenous plants in the same way as you would exotics or other natives. So in modern or traditional planting schemes, you know, mass planted for extra impact or simply mixed with other plants. There's one to suit every landscape situation, from pretty lilies and wildflowers to shrubs, climbers, grasses and trees. Even plants for hedges and borders. They can also make really pretty potted plants. As a bonus, indigenous plants are a great way to bring birds and animals into the garden because they're an important source of food, shelter and habitat for local fauna. Indigenous plants also give a place its local identity, so when we plant them at home, we create a greater sense of unity between our gardens and the broader landscape. Best of all, they require little water, fertiliser or maintenance to keep them looking great. Now it's obviously important to choose the right plant for the right spot, so help your customers out by telling them where their chosen plants grow naturally. Do they thrive in dappled shade or in full sun? What sort of soil moisture and drainage does each plant like? Knowing how indigenous plants grow in the wild will help them succeed in the garden. Where you can, recommend that planting's done during the cooler months, when rainfall is generally higher and plants have a better time of establishing. It's best to keep the shower water up to new plants and where you can, give them a deep watering once a week during summer. After that, you should pretty much be able to leave them on their own. Aside from the odd trim to keep them nice and compact, they should be able to cope with natural rainfall. So by growing beautiful water-wise indigenous plants, you can help to save water and money, provide habitat, shelter and food for local birds and animals, help preserve the local plants and conserve the local character of an area.